Hi there. As promised, here is the second tutorial for my version of an in the round bear. I will be using techniques used in toe up socks, um, especially two at a time toe up socks. I won't be going into a lot of detail about the techniques themselves, but I will post some helpful links on the show notes page. My version uses Magic Loop, Judy's Magic Cast On, Two at a Time Socks, and Kitchener Stitch. Also, I'm making a girl bear this time, so I'm going to show you some modifications that you can do beyond the basic sweater and trouser pants. Thanks! Hope you enjoy! I'm starting with my worsted yarn. I have bare brown and some purple variegated from my stash. In order to do the two at a time technique on the leg, I needed to wind off a small ball of leg yarn for the second leg. I'm not sharing the pattern here, but remember that all your total stitch counts are double the original pattern because you are knitting the front and back of the bear at the same time. To start, I used Judy's Magic Cast On, just as if I were doing two at a time toe up socks. Your total number of stitches for each leg accounts for the front and back of the paw. I'm not demonstrating the cast on here, but the Knit Girls did a nice one that I will link to in the notes. I cast on the first paw with my small ball of yarn and the second paw with the full skein. At this point, I started knitting both paws. Again, just like doing two socks at once. The only difference is that these don't require any toe increases. Just in case you're wondering why there's that tail out one of the legs, that's just my own memory technique so I know which side is the front. Now, I'm making a girl bear with a skirt, so rather than giving her full trousers like the boy bear, I'm knitting more of her bare legs. Yeah, go ahead and groan. I joined the purple yarn when I felt it was appropriate. I want to point out that I always weave my ends as I'm knitting. There's a link on the sidebar of my blog about how to do this. On the first round of the new color, I weave in the tail of the yarn I just finished. Then on the second round, I weave in the tail of the new yarn I just joined. If I was knitting a garment that will get a lot of stretch, like socks, I would then go in with a needle and weave a bit more. But since these are inside the bear, I just keep them inside and let them add to the stuffing. When the legs are their total length, you can cut the yarn on the first leg, leaving a foot long tail. For me, this is the leg that I had connected to the mini ball of yarn. You will then push the legs together and knit them all the way around as one total unit. This starts the body. You will notice that you have a small hole between the legs. This hole can be sewn up with that long tail I just told you to leave. Just run the tail through a few of the inside stitches to work across to the hole and then sew it up so she won't lose her stuffing. I'm actually going to knit her bodysuit in all one yarn, but here's a trick for attaching the skirt later. When you get to the last row of the waist, where the trousers would end in the original pattern, purl that last row. Continue knitting the body up to the armpits, essentially nine stitches before the top of the body. At this point, knit back and forth on just one side of the body, just like you were knitting a heel flap on a sock. Knit this way up the rest of the body on that side and then cut the yarn. Join your yarn on the other side the now short side, and then knit that side up the same way. Remember to weave your new yarn tail in as you start. Go ahead and cut this yarn too as we are now done with the body. Just for a little perspective, here's a quick view of what the side looks like. At this point, I actually went ahead and stuffed the bear's legs and body up to the waist. This just makes life a little easier. Next, join the bear color again to start the head. This yarn you will be knitting all the way around again. Remember, weave your ends as you go. Notice now that we join the head, we now have distinct armholes. Knit the rest of the head. 
remember that regardless of what length head your directions may recommend, you ultimately want your head to be proportional to the rest of the body. Stuff the rest of the body and head. Leave yourself a long tail. Kitchener the head closed and then use the tail to pinch and tack the ears, running across the top of the head. I grab a couple stitches along the top of the head to keep the yarn in place while I go to the second ear. I then run the yarn out the neck. Leave that long tail out the neck for now. Pick up and knit stitches along one of the open armholes. When you first pick them up, don't worry too much about the number of stitches. Pick up as many as you need to close up any gaps. Once you start knitting the arm in the round, you can quickly decrease away any extra stitches. When the arm is the correct length, stuff it and then Kitchener it closed. Make sure that you stuff it before you Kitchener. When I first made this bear, I actually Kitchenered the second arm before stuffing and had to pick it all out. That was not fun. Repeat for the second arm and you now have the basic bear all knit. Remember that long tail we left hanging out the neck? You will now want to run that in and out of the stitches around the neck and pull tightly. This cinches in the neck. I actually run it around twice, making the second round tighter than the first. Since this bear will get a scarf, you want a lot of definition to begin with. Now since I'm making a girl, I need to pick up those pearl bumps around her waist and knit into them. Pay attention to your resulting knitting. If you want a stockinette skirt, you may find out that you need to flip your bear upside down while you're knitting the skirt. If it's not coming out right, just rip back to the pearl bumps and start over. There's nothing to run away from you at this point. Have fun with the skirt. I didn't have a worsted weight that I liked, so I actually held two different color fingering weight yarns together. Remember, after a couple rounds, you will want to do at least one increase round to double the stitches and make sure that her skirt flows away from her body. The skirt can seem to take forever. One trick to make the skirt grow faster, do some rows of knit two togethers alternated with yarn overs. The yarn overs stretch more. Even better, do double or triple wrap yarn overs to really get some length. I chose to make an I-cord scarf out of the same doubly held yarn from the skirt. Then tack it into place so there are no loose pieces. Next, stitch on the face. I used fingering weight black yarn for the face. Then I purposely left the ends free after securing the yarn. I clipped it close and now she has fluttery eyelashes. Ta-da! Our girl bear is complete and now ready to be loved. That finishes our In the Round Bear. Just a quick note, this version does not match the In the Round pattern that you can find on Ravelry, but it is what I do. So, have fun, make some bears, bye!